Hi there, we're going to be playing with some alcohol inks for today's video. I love the way these look and they are so good for making a really quick card. So I'll run you through what we're going to be using for the video today. Sentiment comes from the Birthday Wishes, part of our expressions range. I'm going to do a, a, just a little bit of detail with the mirrored mini striplet and the new bonsai tree from our stained glass collection. These are absolutely fabulous when you need a beautiful card but you don't have a lot of time. So I'll show you some fun things you can do with these. So I'm gonna start with our background and I'm using three shades of alcohol ink. I have red pepper, I have sunshine yellow, and I have citrus. And along with that, I have some alcohol blending solution that we can show you some different things with too. Now, alcohol inks are specifically for slick surfaces. So your metal, your gloss card, things like that, acetate, you don't wanna use them on regular card. And I'll, I'll show you kind of just a real quick little thing, why not, in a second. Um, so any of your slick, uh, slippery surfaces, they work great. So we're just going to do Simple as pie, kind of a, a drip method. Take the lids off. I'm gonna pop some color around. And just add in a bit. You don't wanna to go too heavy with the green. The yellow will blend stuff really well, so we can use a lot of that. Now, alcohol inks are really unique in that they'll dry very quickly, um, but you can get them to run. You can use a straw and blow on them a little bit. You can move them around with your cardstock and get them to blend. Or you can just leave them like this if you like. Um, you can also go in and you can put some onto a felt piece on a, on a um, applicator. Whoops. And you can bring them in and do little bits like this and get a little more texture if you want. All sorts of different looks. So really quick and easy. If you bring in your blending solution, that will take some color off. So you can put a little bit on your same little applicator tool there and you can lift color off like that if you want. If you don't want it quite so strong, you can put it back on. You can add in a little bit more. There's no right or wrong way with these. It's something I absolutely love about them. And if you want, say, on the bonsai, there's like a sun. If you think, oh, I want something on there where that sun is, you can put a big burst of red in a spot and then put your bonsai over that. So all sorts of different things, but they're going to be just a collage of colors in your background, so it's gonna be really quick. Now I've done one ahead of time, so I'm gonna just set this one aside. It does need a tiny bit of drying time, but once that gloss kind of goes away, it is dry. So set that to the side. And just to show you what happens, I've got a little piece of um, card here that's just regular coconut white card. When these hit here, they don't blend, they just stay, so you don't wanna have alcohol inks on regular card. They just soak right in. So that's why you need a slippery sort of surface with them. That will just stay there, okay? So just uh, a note for when using your alcohol inks in the future. They're beautiful for things like that. But you definitely need a slippery surface. Acetate is beautiful with them. Okay, so I'm gonna pop these to the side. And we're gonna do a little bit of cutting. So I've got a piece of coconut white card and I'll give you a quick measurement on it. It is uh, six and a quarter by six and three quarters. And I'm going to use the mirrored striplet just at the bottom, oh, about mm, all, a little, I'd say about a half an inch from the bottom and I'm just gonna try and center it here. Give it a quick cut, tape it into place. Oops. And you want to cut this down the rollers going this way. So I'm going to just turn it that direction. Give it a cut back. Check and see if that's done the trick. Looks good. So I'm going to bring my tool in one in and we'll take some of the bits out. We'll probably just have to nip out the ones that are underneath the tape here. Carefully remove that. Even though we use removable tape, you don't want to pull too hard or too fast. Okay. This side. Take that off. And there's just a couple little guys here we're going to pop out. 
get all those little bits out of the way. Ooh, one more. There it is. So you can see you have a really pretty decorative look there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give it a white on white. So I'm going to put another piece of white card behind it. And I've got one right underneath here. And I'll just do this real quickly with some spray glue. And I think I'll use a little bit of tape at the top just to hold it up here. There we go. Pop that into place. So now I've just created a tiny bit of detail on the bottom of my card. I'm going to bring in my backing and I've done some uh, paper piercing with a ruler and a pokey tool around the top edge, which is a white layer. I've added a little black layer because that is going to just tie in with my uh, focal element. Pop that down into place. And I'll do a quick cut on the bonsai so you can see how it works. Clean that up. Now these are a little bit smaller in size, so they'll make some smaller cards, which is really nice. I'm going to pop that down in the center. And as all of my backgrounds, I don't have an outside cutting edge on this. So if you want a wider border, put it onto a wider piece of cardstock. If you want a thinner border, put it onto a thinner piece of cardstock. And take the bits out of this. What's nice when you get these cut, if you're a little bit crooked, you can use this line on a paper cutter and just straighten it up if you like. We just take out some of these little bits that are left and we will show you how pretty this looks. A couple little guys here and one last one. Oops. There we go. So you can see how nice that comes out. It's absolutely gorgeous. So what I've done with that is I've just taken the one I've cut and I've put it over that background that I've done with the alcohol ink. So you've just got a myriad of colors coming through. So nice and quick and easy. And I've just put a little white mat on that. So we will put that into place onto our card. Let me just tidy this up a little. I've added a bit of uh, foam core, or excuse me, uh, mounting foam onto the back. I'm just going to raise this little bit up, put it right above our striplet that we cut. And let me just lean in and kind of center that. That looks nice. And I'm going to just put my sentiment over this here. I've used the lovely birthday wishes. Um, this die is unique in that when you cut it, you have a perfect positive and negative. So if you want to use the fault away piece, you can use that as the negative. We're just going to use the, um, positive piece and I've doubled it up so it's a little bit thicker, which is something I love to do with sentiments. I'm going to give it a quick spray like that. And let me spray this one. There we go. And pop those into place. I'm going to put the birthday up top, just a little bit offset like that. Whoops, stay. There we go. And the word wishes off to the side in the lower area there. And there we go. So you can see you've got a quick and easy card. This works for both male and female recipients. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Be sure to look for us on our YouTube channel too.